Taking Care of You, Managing Stress and Depression, Part 2, presented by Dr. Michael Howard. I wrote a book called Living to Be 100. It's about how people live to be 100 years old. Now, there's 307 million Americans. How many centenarians do you think we have, people over 100 years old? You want to take a guess? In the United States. How many centenarians do you think we have? About 307 million people. 60,000. How many, how many of you think can live independently? I mean, live on their own, take care of themselves, pay their bills, and of course, if they live in Florida, drive cars, run over people on the sidewalk for fun. Man. That's a state sport. I, I live down here, I know, that's a state sport down here. Well, here's what I found in this book. I found 70% of the variants in living to be 100 years old and still living independently, and guys, these are the most amazing people on the planet. We ought to be worshiping them instead of the Kardashian sisters, who these people always seem to think are so fascinating. We ought to be worshiping these people because they've lived longer, better, happier, and healthier, and are more cognitively and physically intact. None of them have, none of them have dementia. 30 to 50% of 85-year-old people, have, these people completely avoided it. Now, I found 16 things that, that predicted this, 70% of the variants, and any, it doesn't take a genius to do this, okay? I looked at the 24 studies, I interviewed a bunch of them myself. It's easy to do. Three of them are hugely relevant to us today. Number one, these are probably the best stress managers on the planet. They're resilient, as Tom Pearls calls them, the New England Centenarian Study. They've not had long-standing periods of stress and depression, and they're incredibly socially connected, and they get enormous social support from people around them.